Hey there! In today's video, we are going to understand what are the different factors that affect the process of evaporation. Now to understand this, I want to share an incident that happened with me a couple of days back. I wanted to dry some of my washed clothes. So just as I was stepping out, it started to rain heavily outside. Now it got me thinking, how am I going to dry all of my clothes now? So then I decided to take it back to my living room and then, you know, dry it in my hanging rack and probably turn the fan on. And I knew that in a couple of hours, my clothes would be completely dry. Now, this is a very common practice in Indian households where after washing our clothes, we normally leave our clothes to dry outside of the house, especially under the sun. Or if it is raining, we prefer to dry it inside with the fan on. So how does the sun or the fan help with this entire process? Well, firstly, we know that washed clothes or wet clothes dry completely by the process of evaporation. And quickly to recall, we know that evaporation is the process in which water, which is there in its liquid form, gets converted to water vapor. And this is the gaseous form of water. And we see that this entire process happens without actually boiling the water. So effectively, we see that this is a process that happens on the surface of the liquid, where water molecules on the surface gain enough energy to overcome the forces that are holding them together, as a result of which water becomes water vapor. But now let's say I keep you know, wet clothes, right, which wherein we see that wet clothes become dry by the process of evaporation. Let's say I put wet clothes under the sun. Why does, why is it that water evaporates faster when kept under the sun? Let's understand this with the example. Now, imagine I have this shirt with me and I'm going to write wet shirt, which means there are water droplets that are present on this shirt. And I'm going to put it for dry on a nice sunny day. Now we know that from the sun, there's going to be heat that comes from the sunlight that warms up the surroundings and the water that is present inside of the shirt or that is trapped in the shirt. Now, as this heat energy comes and as the water starts to warm up, we see that water molecules end up gaining energy, right? And as they get more and more energy, water molecules will start to move faster and they'll start to overcome the forces that are holding them. Ultimately, it results in the water molecules which are in its liquid form. They get or they escape into the air as water vapor. So more amount of heat, that means hotter the day, right? So let me write this down. Hotter the day it is, we see that clothes dry faster because more amount of energy gets supplied in the form of heat to the surrounding as well as to the water molecules, which is why we see that temperature is a very important factor that affects the process of evaporation. Where higher the temperature, faster the process. But now let's say there is no sun, right? That means it's a rainy day or it's monsoon season. Our alternative is to keep it under a fan to dry. So why do we do this? How does the fan help with the process of evaporation? Well, firstly, when I say fan, we see that by turning the fan on, there is air circulation, right? Which means there is movement of the air. And we see that movement of air plays a very big role in the process of evaporation. Because let's say air is not moving, air is still. The process of evaporation is going to happen, but it is going to happen very slowly. And along with that, whatever water gets converted to water vapor, we see that all that water vapor will ultimately stay near the clothes and it will slow down the entire process of drying. But on the other hand, if there is air circulation or movement of air, it could be with, by a fan or even a slight breeze the moist air moves away faster and it gets replaced by fresh, drier air, 
which means that whenever when all this water vapor keeps moving it allows for the process of evaporation to happen faster which is why we see that when we hang clothes under a fan or on a windy day it dries faster so therefore wind speed also contributes to the process of evaporation where it speeds up the process of evaporation now next up we have surface area now what do we mean by surface area surface area refers to the total area of the surface that means all the parts that we see here right this is the total surface area of this particular shirt now in this particular case we see that this is the total area exposed right this is the area that is exposed to the outside so let's say i have a plate right i have a very big tray and there are water molecules right or let's say there's water on this table and on the other hand i have a very narrow cylinder and i fill it up with water till here and imagine i leave it out to evaporate which one do you think would evaporate faster most definitely we see that this particular tray will we see that water in this particular tray will evaporate faster because there's a larger exposed surface and ultimately evaporation is a surface phenomenon so therefore we see that in this particular case evaporation occurs faster when there is a larger exposed surface area that's why when we dry our clothes we prefer to spread them out rather than pile it up together now lastly we see that there is one more factor that affects evaporation which is humidity now humidity refers to the amount of water vapor that already exists in the air and we know that this water vapor they are like you know tiny invisible molecules that are present so we can't really see them but how much of it is what is calculated as humidity now if more amount of water vapor molecules are present then it means that the air is more humid and if it is more humid or if the air is already filled with a high amount of water vapor then evaporation becomes difficult or rather i would say evaporation slows down as the air cannot easily accommodate more moisture which is why on days where it is more humid clothes dry slowly but on the other hand if the air is dry then the clothes would dry faster so therefore in this particular case we have understood what is evaporation and how factors like temperature humidity wind and surface area all contribute to this particular process